Hi, I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One. Thanks for joining us. Today so we're going to talk about how to take your backups to the next level. You know, backup is always looked at as a sort of an insurance policy or a digital dumping ground. How can we do more with this investment? Well, on the software side, we've done a pretty good job, right? If you look at uh, products like Veeam, Rubrik, Commvault, and Haiku, they've all added very important features like instant recovery, block-level incremental backups, and backup archiving. Now, on the hardware side of the equation, we've seen equal amount of innovation here. We've seen the uh, introduction of high-density hard disk drives. Uh, 18 terabyte is common today, and we'll quickly go to 20 terabyte by the end of this year. We've also seen the introduction of very affordable uh, flash. which gives us some capabilities as we start looking at some of these other features. Uh, and we've seen the improvement in uh, very uh, high performance uh, networking. Right. 25 gig uh, and faster ethernet is very common today and also very, very uh, affordable. Now, in the middle, we've got a bit of a gap, right? We've got all the right hardware. We've seen a lot of development in the software. What we're lacking is a backup storage software solution that can bring all this together. And that's what we've done at Store One. We've developed a solution that really powers backups and pulls this group together, filling this gap. We call it S1 Backup. And it provides a highly available backup storage architecture that is powered by a small flash tier that's used as storage, not as cache, and a very scalable hard disk tier for the long-term retention of data at a very, very cost-effective price point. Now, if you look at this, the first thing we're doing, of course, is backup to this using block level incrementals. Now what happens with block level incrementals is customers tend to do more of them. You're concerned about ransomware and things like that. You need to do more backups. Well, that means you're ingesting data uh, much more frequently. It's a little bit more choppy. It's not these big sequential jobs anymore. And so ingesting these jobs as flash into the flash tier allows you to maintain uh, very high performance. It allows you to uh, send these multiple times throughout the day and get the job completed. Now, one of the challenges with block level incrementals is what really happens is you do a full backup and then you do a series of incrementals. And then at some point you do something called a consolidation job where we combine all of these uh, efforts into a new full that we call a virtual full. If all of that's happening on hard disk drives, it's egregiously slow, and most customers end up just doing the old-fashioned full, which again takes time, interrupts applications, things like that. Because of our flash tier and the performance of that flash tier, you can do consolidation jobs very, very quickly. Now, the next thing is backup archiving. So as these jobs age, what we'll start to do is move them down to this hard disk tier. We want to do that because in most cases you're going to retain backups for seven years plus. And so the ability to retain those jobs for an indefinite period of time, but cost effectively becomes very, very critical. Now the concern with hard disk tiers is as we try to keep prices down and we use 18 terabyte and soon 20 terabyte drives, is the time it takes to do a RAID rebuild. Well, again, some of the work we've done with the Store One engine is specific to attack that problem. So where most backup storage targets take weeks to do these kind of rebuilds, we can do it in two to three hours. 
So very, very fast rebuilds. A, a failed drive is an important problem here because it starts interrupting uh, block level incremental backups. So getting those drives rebuilt quickly is a huge capability that we've really developed into the product. The other thing we do is we can maintain high data integrity as it ages. First of all, we don't use a cache. We have such high performance, we can write directly to the flash tier. The second thing is with our, as part of our RAID technology that we call VRAID, we can actually do data integrity checking uh, over the course of time to make sure we maintain high data quality throughout the lifespan of the data. That covers all of your archiving thing, except for one thing, this thing might grow. We can scale to 15 petabytes of capacity just by adding more shells, okay? In the near future, we'll be able to scale to 30 petabytes just by adding shells. So very, very powerful, very, very scalable environment. No data migration, no movement. As you add capacity, you don't need to change backup jobs. They just keep sending data to us. Now the last one and probably the most important is this concept of a instant recovery. And so what an instant recovery is, is you're gonna instantiate a VM or an application's data set on the backup storage device. If that backup storage device is hard drive only, you're gonna have horrible performance, especially considering that over here, out here somewhere, we've got production storage, right? And that's probably either an all flash array or hybrid, right? So flash assisted. And so these VMs and applications are used to seeing very high performance storage. So if you try to instantiate and do an instant recovery on hard drives, you're gonna have some very upset users. What we do is automatically restore those instantiated VMs or applications back to the flash tier. And so they get the performance that they're used to in that recovered state. So, and what we've built now is a system that essentially provides very high performance production class performance and availability, right? It's dual controllers, so no single point of failure. We've got the most advanced uh, RAID technology in the industry. We can get very, very high performance from just a few drives. And so we can deliver the performance that the users are used to all in a system that is ready to go. Now, the final uh, important element of our S1 backup is it's not limited to the backup use case. What most customers will do over time is they will start migrating production workloads because we've proven the performance, we've proven the reliability, we've proven the availability, and you can start moving workloads like NAS and databases and even VMware onto this, and this can become your production storage solution. So eventually over the course of time, as you gain confidence in the system, and as it, as it makes operational and financial sense, you can just start dropping workloads on this. We talk about that in our other video, uh, Land and Expand with Store One. Thank you for joining us. I'm George Crump, Chief Marketing Officer with Store One. Have a great day.